Okay, are we live? We're live. Hey guys, <laughs> what's up? We've got a brand new cookbook that I just finished putting together. And this is a really special cookbook. And before everyone shows up, I just wanna kinda show you exactly what it is. So, I call it catching and cooking. It's all the different fishes that I like to catch and how I like to cook it up. Now, the specialty with this cookbook is I'm showing all these different ways to cook it from different cultures such as Japanese, Vietnamese, um, UK, Mediterranean, uh, what else do we do? Why don't you flip Mexican. Through? Let me, I'll flip through it for you. And I put this together because I love cooking it and I love sharing how to cook these things in different cultures. And it's not exactly easy to share exact recipes on our YouTube videos, so we made a really nice looking cookbook. I designed this, I wrote it, came up with the ingredients with Aaron, and there's just a whole bunch of different kinds of fish. I'd like to say hello to some people, do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. I'd like to say hello to Edgar, and also to Danielle. And if you're here with us, tell us your name and where you're from, and we'll love to say hello to you. Anyways, this is our new book, Catching and Cooking, and I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite recipes that I have in this book. It's going to be the Chinese steamed fish. Um, it's just going to be a really delicious way to cook it, and it's pretty simple. It's a beautiful day out here, and I figured, why not just share with you guys? Yeah. This book is available on our website now, hayskipperfishing.com. If you want to check it out for yourself, it's just released, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you to everyone who's given us a thumbs up. We appreciate you. Ma Mahmoud said hello, Skipper from Tunisia. Harry is from Cyprus. And uh, today we're gonna be cooking up some of these beautiful fish from one of the recipes in the cookbook that Brendan just wrote and designed that he was just showing you. Yep, these are whiting that I caught from um, a beach maybe 30 minutes away from my house. Uh, right now, this is really what's really uh, biting in the area. You can go to the beach at any time and catch a bunch of these guys. They're small, but they're really, really tasty, and I love eating them. Uh, but before I get into the actual cooking, I'm going to wait for some, some more people to join us before we get into the cooking segment. Uh, I have some announcements. We have a lot of really awesome new products that I'm not sure anybody knows about yet because I've just been making them, and I haven't been telling anyone yet. Here's my announcement. I have a bunch of new products. This one is my favorite one so far. I've been using it all year. Just haven't been telling anyone yet. This is our catch all basic rig, which doesn't come with floats. It's just a basic high low rig. And this is actually what I used to catch the fish right here. And these are also just released on our website as well. If you want to be among the first people to ever use our rig, check out our website. Um, also, the reason why I came up with these is because when I was out looking for rigs in Walmart and different like tackle shops, a lot of their rigs were not very good. The hooks were too big. The line was way too thick. The snap swivel at the bottom was way too thin. So I've actually custom made and tied all of these up to my exact liking. And I approve of these. If you guys want to just get straight on fish, I suggest you get a pack of our basic catch all rigs. Um, also, we've got another bundle right here that I want to share with you guys. This is the Weekend Warrior Bundle. This is for all you weekend warriors who can only get out fishing on the weekend. This is exactly what I would recommend you to bring. A pack of our shrimpy bits and a pack of our clammy bits. It comes with two rigs as well, a catch-all rig. You can use this to catch smaller fish and put it onto our sure catch rig and catch bigger fish using that. Basically, take this to the beach with you. You'll catch a bunch of fish over the weekend and it should be a good time. Really quick, I want to give some shout outs, okay? Yeah, let's hear some shout outs. I want to give a shout out to Daryl from Thomasville, Georgia, Diego, to Sebastian from South Texas, Ooh, awesome. Edward from Long Island, New York, Long Saga Travel from, from Egypt, and uh, yeah. Awesome. I want to give you one more announcement. We've got buy one, get one 50% off on these shrimps right now. Today. <laughs> today. Today. So if you want to buy some shrimp and you want to get on some fish and you want to get this at a really good price, it's buy one, get one 50% off. It's the biggest sale we've ever done in, a, in like, I don't think we've ever done a bigger one than this. Mm -hmm. So get yourself a pack of this bait. This is what I use to catch these fish right here. OK, 
Okay. We should start cooking soon. Let's. We have okay. a... So, I've already done a couple of these fish. I've already um, gutted and filleted, gutted and cut these up. But those are going to be for a different entree. I'm going to show you guys how to just quickly uh, clean the fish. I start with cutting the tails off, cutting the fins off, and it's really simple. This is a really easy way to do it. Okay. Then I make sure that all the scales are off. And I use a cleaver knife to do this. Okay. Then I take the guts out. Now the gills are right here. You're going to just pinch the gills and pull everything out in one pole. You see that? That's the guts. Throw it away. Then we're going to wash all the blood out. And we've got a clean fish. Beautiful. So now I've got two fish here. And we're going to cut the heads off of these. I'd like to say hello to Noor from Portugal and also Jeanette Rubio. Thank you guys so much for your support and love. So we got these two fish. They're prepped. Now I'm going to do the aromatics, which I like to use ginger, scallion, and cilantro. But I don't have cilantro today, so we're just going to do it without. We're just going to take the skin off the ginger. Now we're gonna slice it into thin slices. I'm also gonna do that with this piece of ginger. What are some of your favorite ways to eat fish, guys? Comment below, let's hear. When you catch fish, when you catch fish, what's your favorite way to cook it? Please put in the chat so we can get some ideas and maybe learn a few things from across the world. Is that someone commenting? Yeah, that Nor's, that's me. Nor saying, okay, buddy, I'll be there in a few minutes. I'll be there about five minutes, actually a few hours. <laughs> I'll be there. Mahmood says fried fish. Fried fish is one of my favorites. Ah! <laughs> okay. Next. Throw this away. Next, I put the ginger inside the stomach like this. And this will help take any of the fishy taste out. Now, I've got steamer. The water should be boiling. Ooh, it is, and it's hot. I put the ginger down. I 
And this is a recipe that my dad uses, my grandma uses. A lot of Chinese people cook their fish this way. It's the best way to cook a really fresh fish. And I had just caught these, so these would be delicious. One for me, one for you, Aaron. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put it on like this. And we'll steam that for about 15 minutes. And after about 15 minutes, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna have hot oil ready to go. And I'm gonna sear everything. It's gonna be so delicious. Nice. But I gotta set a timer for 15 minutes right now. Okay. So I'm gonna read out some of these favorite ways to eat fish. There's okay. fried fish, boiled, fried, not, boiled. not so lucky, says steaming. QC Bryant says, catch and fry cook on a sandbar here in the States. Nothing fresher. And then addicted to, sis to fishing said, did someone say bar? <laughs> addicted to fishing says, low and slow on a barbecue. Mm, that sounds delicious. Low and slow on barbecue, mm -hmm. I like to do that too. HK MNA <laughs> says, I want a piece, please. A bite of this? A bite of this. <laughs> Guys, if you have any questions about cooking fish, now this would be a great time to put them in the chat. To anyone who's just now joining, I'd like to say that we are cooking some fish here in the steamer. And this is one of the recipes from the brand new cookbook that Brendan just designed and created. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And we have a lot of recipes in here about cooking fish in all different cultures. We have Japanese, UK beer battered, Cajun hush puppy, fried fish tostadas, Vietnamese whole fried fish. Just a ton of different recipes in here for you to cook your fish. And these are from cultures all across the world, just based off of friends, recipes, and our families, and just whoever gives us the idea. Brendan here is an excellent chef and an excellent designer. So if you'd like to support our channel, this is our brand new cookbook I product. I want to learn how to do this one. Which one? Um, we're doing this one, right? The we're Chinese. doing this one right now. The Chinese soy sauce steamed fish with herbs. But I would like to show them how to do the Mediterranean butterfly grilled fish as well. And I'll show you how to butterfly the fish right now. Because okay. I'm going to get this ready so I can, but I can eat this tomorrow. And if you'd like to support and buy that cookbook, the link is right in the description of this video. Try the Moroccan way, says Morocco Nature and Fishy. Please tell us what the official Moroccan way is so that we can learn. Let me show you how learn. to cook this up. Sure. So this you're is, butterflying? This is one of my favorite ways to cook it lately. First of all, you're going to cut the ribs right here. You see the spine right here? Cut down from here. Sometimes scissors helps, so cut with scissors. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh, there, you're going to cut along that spine, and we're basically going to be deboning this right now. I appreciate Damn River Boys who says all these great people here and watching, and only 23 thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up if you yeah. want to eat some fish. Thumbs up, please, y'all. Couscous with fish. Oh, I love mm. couscous. Who doesn't like couscous? And then Sebastian Algeria says red fish on the half shell cooked on the grill with ranch seasoning and lime. Ooh. Mm. Okay, so that's half the fish, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do the other side. 
Walmart 1800, this is a whiting, just freshly caught on the beach. So you're deboning this right now? Mm-hmm, I'm butterflying it. And butterflying it, when we grill it, it'll be deboned and really delicious. So now once I got that, I'm going to cut the spine out. Just literally cut it like this. See that? What's the benefit of cutting this spine out? Um, when you cut the spine out, you have a boneless fish right here. You see this? This is boneless, except we got ribs here, but you can pick those out pretty easily. Now from here, we're going to cut the head in half. See that? Mm. Now we've got a flattened fish. And from here, you can put this into a fish crate like this and you grill it both sides. You cover it in olive oil, salt and pepper. And that's a really tasty way to make it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some salt real quick. Hi. <laughs> I always like to salt my fish because it keeps my fish like firm doesn't get mushy. And I actually like to leave it for a couple of days like that. Mm -hmm. Put it back in the bag now. And this is for another meal? Yep. Now I'm going to do this next one. I'd like to read some comments real quick. Sure, let's hear it. Robert McKee says the best fish dish is covered in batter deep fried in beef drippings with chunky proper chips. Proper chips. What are proper chips? I'm assuming some real crispy ones. <laughs> or is he talking about potato chips? HK Amine says, you have to try it in tahine with some vegetables. Mm. We love tahine. Almost, um, let me see. I love olive oil. I smash blue catfish fillets the same way before deep frying. Addicted to fishing says any fish. Defined, bled, gutted, scaled, seasoned, and stuffed with onions, garlic, lemons, and basil wrapped tightly in foil. Mmm. I love the foil wrap. Oh, I love foil wrap too. Yes. James Haynes says Skip got them skills in the kitchen too. That's true. He's a good chef. And that's why he just created that cookbook for y'all. Ooh, tell him about our text messaging stuff. Okay, so... Change it to your face and tell <laughs> So, um, hi, Aaron here, filming. We have a new number if you guys want to text us. Um, the number is in the description below. And if you text squad to that number, we will text you back and say thank you so much for joining us. And that is how we're going to be telling you about these cool new products like this, cool new products like the rigs that we have. And um, yeah, we'll just be able to talk with you there. Um, if you are in the US or Canada or Puerto Rico especially, um, we'll be able to talk to you about all the cool stuff we got going on. <laughs> So that number is in the description below, text squad, and Brendan will text you right back. Hi, Mahumud. <laughs> um, Tell about our awesome deal we've got going right now with buy one, get the one. The awesome deal that we have is that today, if you're on our email list, you probably know this already. And thank you to anyone who's already supported us. We love you. We appreciate you. Today, 
We're having buy one, get one 50% off on our specialty made fishing bait, shrimpy bits, which Brendan and I hand make each single, every single bag of these right ourselves, here <laughs> right here. Yes, and these shrimp are our specialty preserved salty bait. If any of you saw our new Mountain Dew episode, um, we you might be making, well yes, you saw how well they worked and we might be making some Mountain Dew versions of these soon, but these are the tried and true proven to work fishing bait that Brendan and I have created ourselves. Literally, we package every single one of these baits. Um, so thank you guys to anyone who supported before. And thank you guys if you're thinking of maybe picking up two bags today, because this is a pretty sick deal. We don't it's usually go on to the sickest. <laughs> um, the first one was a little too good for the price I was hoping to pay, but the other two are still good. JK. <laughs> Morocco Nature and Fishing. Visit Morocco. We have huge fish you can catch here. Ooh, I would love to visit Morocco. I would too. In California, those are called Corbina, says Addicted to Fishing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys for checking out our products like these. We honestly made these just so you guys could catch more fish. That's well, what we're, we're going to be about. giving away just a bunch of these just for free. Uh, if you're a part of our email list or you're a part of our uh, text message list, I'll text you when our next giveaway is, but we're giving away a $400 deeper fish finder. We are. I think that's happening, what, next week? Uh, or two weeks from now? A, yeah, this month, definitely. Okay, sometime this month. We're also <laughs> giving away, like, our Fishing Fanatics bundle. And if you guys don't know what a Fishing Fanatics bundle is, that's my newest bundle. It comes with 10 rigs. It comes with 10 of my rigs that I tie. And every single bait that we make in this really nice bait box right here. This is what I bring with me every single trip, and I'm just gonna be straight just giving it away to people, like lots of them. So if you're not a part of that list, I recommend you be a part of our text messaging group, be a part of our email group, because it's hard for us to always go live and tell you about these things. It's, hard, it's also hard to make these YouTube videos all the time. The easiest way for you guys to uh, hear about these uh, uh, promotions are through those two Platforms. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The texting especially is something new, something very exciting, you know, um, that we can directly text you and respond to you yeah, and answer I think that's your really questions. Special. The first right. time ever. Right, exactly. So, you know, sometimes our comments get really overloaded. Um, chatting with you guys right now is one of the best ways that we, we can really engage with you and answer your questions. Um, ooh, Glocker1. 711 says clammy bits have performed better than anything for me oh really that's awesome to hear because the clammy bits are honestly the top seller for us and no one else makes anything like that they're bright well, red they're super hard to make. They're, it takes forever to make them <laughs> believe me i know we make them ourselves <laughs> personally and they take so long it's just so such a hard process <laughs> but we love doing it and we love sharing it with you guys and i just want to thank everyone here who's who's supporting us and who continues to to be with us yes i want to read nor hawk's comment because you're leaving some funny comments today i love your emojis thank you for your reply i appreciate the help i appreciate the input i appreciate I appreciate the feedback. I appreciate the advice. I appreciate the insight. And we appreciate you. Is that what Every she said? single she one of you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> appreciate. We appreciate. Um, let me see if there are any comments that I can read. James says, that's awesome. I got to get one of those boxes. My friend, James? <laughs> it is your friend, James. Your new oh, friend, hey, James. James. <laughs> no, I have a good childhood friend named James, and we've been fishing together for a long time. I'm not sure if he's here right now, but. If you are, what's up, buddy? If you want to sign up for our email, QC Brian, that would be probably on our website, right? I don't know if we have a direct link on this video, but our website definitely has some pop-ups yeah. and things. Yeah. We just like to give back to you guys, and sometimes it's hard to reach everybody because it's really hard to put out these videos every single week, but we've been doing it for, what, five years now? We haven't missed a single video. Every single Thursday, we put one out. Yes, um, a video is about to go out. Today. tonight yeah tonight. i forgot yeah. yeah what time i don't know what time it is because i can't see on my phone but anyone on the eastern shore know what time it is what time is it <laughs> um tonight we have a really fun exciting hey, it's gg video. anglers he's from texas Hi. what's up you catching any fish <laughs> how much longer do we have on this steamer pot let's see one minute left excellent so if there are any questions that you guys have about any of these bundles 
that we've made with our rigs and our bait or anything about cooking fish or anything that you want. Oh, what time is it? 17.42, so 5.42. Okay, so 7.30 tonight, new episode. It's gonna be fun. Did you guys see the Mountain Dew video we did last week? That was so silly, but it actually worked really well. And it seemed like so many people liked watching that. Oh, I just got like a... <sighs> A whiff of yummy fish. A whiff of really yummy, delicious food, you know? Okay, right now I'm heating up the oil right okay, now. Okay, hold on, hold on. Right now I'm heating up this oil. Whenever the fish comes out, this oil will be searing hot, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put all this, all the spring onions on top of the fish, and then I'm going to put the scorching oil on top. It's going to sizzle everywhere, mm -hmm. and that's going to be delicious. Then I'm going to put soy sauce all over it, mm -hmm. which reminds me, I need to get soy sauce. Uh-oh. So you guys, we're talking to you here from Florida. This is our new backyard. <laughs> um, as you guys might know, we uh, just moved in the past year or so down here. And it's a time of year where it's very cold, but here it is so nice. So we're enjoying it. I'm gonna do another five minutes. Another five minutes. Yeah, it doesn't look quite ready yet. Okay. Well, one of the things that I love about this cookbook that you just wrote, Brendan, is how you say, it's not specific, right? This is, I think, one of my favorite parts. Use your taste buds. I didn't put exact measurements for this recipe because it's important to use ingredients depending on your own personal taste. Instead, I put an estimate for how much I personally like to use for these dishes. Use ingredients to your liking. And I think that's really important. You know, when in a lot of cookbooks, I feel like it's like use a half teaspoon of this, a half tablespoon of that. But really learning to cook according to what you like and your taste yeah. and what tastes good. So I know personally I mean? put my own recommendation, but honestly, you should really learn how much to put in yourself. The way I cook is I just, I don't really measure much out. I, I don't bake. I like to cook. Right. I, I just kind of put it to taste. Right. And it's not to say that there aren't measurements in here. There are absolutely measurements that say, you know, use a half cup of this or a full one to two of this, but... um. Yeah, I think cooking is an important thing and maybe not something that I'm personally good at. I'm the baker, so I like those exact measurements, but Brendan is really like putting ingredients together that taste good, you know? And this is super fresh fish, so it doesn't need a lot to taste good, you know? It's, it really doesn't excited. need to I'm be so deep hungry. fried. I know, I'm pretty hungry too. <laughs> what are you guys eating for dinner tonight? Let me know in the chat below. We're about to tear up this fish. Nor says, I cook fish in a skillet with the lid off, and then I get the taste back from it. But what? <laughs> Comment doesn't make sense to me. Wow. Gigi Angler says, it's been pretty slow, a lot of drums recently. Oh, a lot of black drums? Black do, drum do or eat, red drum? Do you eat drums? Do you eat those black drums? Because when I've been catching some drums, I've won. I've been finding worms. If I don't find worms, I've caught a couple of them where the meat is just like jello. It's like really, really gelatinous and soft, and I didn't eat it either. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just stopped eating them. When I catch them, I either give it away or I just let it go. Try to fillet mullet and fry them like nuggets. That's how I do it, and it's very good. Okay, I think this fish is ready. Angel says I measure with my eyeballs. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh yeah, I think it's done. That looks delicious, okay but it's not even done yet. Here we go. First we take it out and all that ginger it cooked with, you have to drain that water out. Drain it. Okay. And then remove the fish. I gotta get a spatula. Real quick. He needs a spatula. How's your week, guys? Tell us how your week is. All right, you ready? Yes.
Okay. Now I'll take some of this spring onion. I'll just put it all over everything. Mm-hmm. Andy Lang says it's been very cold here in Texas. Oh no. I think I need to heat this up a little bit more. Okay. So right now what we're doing is heating up some oil and then that oil is gonna go on top of the fish, right? Yes, ma'am. It's kind of like a flash fry in a way. Almost ready. I can't wait to go fishing next week. I'm gonna yeah. bring both of these. I don't even need to pack anything anymore. Just bring this. Okay, I think it's about ready. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right, give us a countdown, y'all. Three, two, one. Mmm. And what's this that you're putting on? This is on? soy sauce. Here we go. All right. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry. I am too. All right, you sit down. I'll go grab the, the, the rice, okay? What do you guys think? This fish has been steamed in the steamer and covered in Super hot oil, very fresh herbs, a little bit of sweet soy sauce. <laughs> My mouth is literally watering. I'm very excited. All right. Woo! Let's eat. Hey, you want some rice, Aaron? Of course I want rice. I guess we should have chopsticks. I know, but I couldn't find them. We're and you the... guys, let us know. Have you ever tried this before? Is this something that you would try? How good does it look? You know? I'm gonna turn the camera around and look at this one more time. I need a spoon. This is super fresh whiting that we just caught well, we were filming an episode this week and we are about to chow down. Carl wants to know if we're in North or South Florida. We're in North Florida and it is just gorgeous out. Okay, here's, Look at how, that sunset. here's how I learned how to eat it, right? You pick the meat off, right off the bone like this. Mm -hmm. And mm. then you kind of mash it into this soy sauce and the oil together, mm. right? And then you take some of these, here you go, Aaron. Oh, for me? Yes, for you. Okay. Just chew it slowly. It might be one or two bones, if, if anything, but with rice. Yeah? What do you think? It's delicious. It's so <laughs> insanely good. All right, who's next? Who wants a bite next? Mm, you want a bite next. <laughs> mm. It's so good. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa is good. Mmm really good delicious all right can you show them what it looks like on the fork sure angel says it's healthy and steamed this is such a great healthy dish something that you know brendan's dad would make for an every night dinner and also something that like your grandma would make for like a really big family fancy gathering mm -hmm. right this mm. chinese style steamed fish is just one of my favorites Ever. So if you have not tried it, I definitely encourage you get that cookbook <laughs> that we just wrote that Brendan just designed and put together and try it out for yourself. I actually, I really like the Vietnamese style that I have in the cookbook where mm. it's just a whole fried. 
Mm. All right, I gotta get in on this. My mouth is watering from that one bite. Yeah. <laughs> Just eat for a second. Yeah. Just don't look. We just eat for like mm. maybe a few minutes, and then we can end it. Yeah. Okay, careful here. Thanks. Mmm. Mmm. I love to eat the fish on top of the rice too, because all that yeah, sauce me too. and stuff just like leaks into it. Mmm. Oh, wow. The wedding is just so surprisingly sweet. It's like a flaky white meat. Mm -hmm. Just spitting out bones as we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is the kind of dish where you just take your time. Right. You pick at it. You spend like half an hour eating one fish because mm -hmm. you want to have every little flake of meat. Mm -hmm. That's what my grandpa would do. He would sit, grandpa? Yeah, he would sit with a big thing of beer. <laughs> people around him. And he would just be t lecturing everybody about something. Meanwhile, picking just fish. picking at the fish the whole time. Beer in one hand, chopsticks in the other. Mm. It sounds like a pretty good life. <laughs> mm. The sun is going down now. So the sky is really beautiful. Let's show And I'm, oh, but it was still on. Oh! Hot! Did you see that? Did anyone else see that catch on fire? Well, it's off now, so we're good. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna get could back into bad. my uh I'm good though. My safe, peaceful <laughs> environment. Mmm. It is so good. Down. Right here. Actually, I'm going to flip this fish over. Actually, I'm just going to take this out. Yeah. Yeah.
Hmm, you sound like you like it. Goodbye. I'm done all my rice. Mm. But there's still more fish. flavor of the fish is so sweet. It's really soft, very flaky. It's a really nice white fish, light flavor, not too fishy. One of my favorites ever. So like I said before, if you guys have not tried this recipe, definitely give it a try and leave us a comment if you try it. And if you like it, this is one of my favorite all-time recipes that I never tried until I met Brendan. And he introduced it to me. Your grandma, your dad, everyone makes this dish. And uh, it's just a staple now. So thank you guys for tuning in and thank you guys for watching. Um, please text us. We have a new text line in the description below. If you text squad to that number, Brendan will literally text you back and he can answer questions and we can give you discounts on our website and we'll start announcing new products and exciting things. Giveaways, so, right. promotions. Oh yeah, we have a big giveaway coming up this upcoming month. So tech, you know, sign up for that so that you guys know about that giveaway. It's just the easiest way for me to get in touch with you yeah. is, is through texting and, and we try to do it through email and that works really well. But if I have something immediate I need to tell you, a text message would be the best. So if you text me your number, I'll have you in my contacts. Also save me in your contacts mm -hmm. and we'll be able to talk um, and I can tell you promotions. I can tell you when we're having giveaways. Right. I can tell you, you know, pretty much what's up. When we have a new video, it's really easy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to finish our dinner. We're going to enjoy the rest of the evening watching the sunset. <laughs> I love it here in Florida. Oh, me too. How do you like it? It's, been, it's been about it. a year now. I know. It's it's amazing. I mean, I'm sitting out here in short sleeves. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it's in the middle of <laughs> How January. How can I complain? We're at the end of Eating January or is it February? It's, it's February now. Okay. Yeah. Well, finally, spring is here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching us cook this fish and enjoy it. And we've enjoyed talking to you. Hope you guys enjoy our episode that's coming out soon. And have a good night. Have a good weekend. We love you. We appreciate you. Bye-bye.